Okay, challenges and pain points. A lot of, again, a lot of challenges, a lot of pain points, but you know, the, the fortunately, every single challenge should get a solution. I mean, there are a lot of inventions in the industry, so we have to tackle them. So the first one I put there, I put down there is the mobile data demand. And I talked about that. That's no mistake about it, how much data is needed. So in order to solve this mobile data demand, we have to create a lot of multiplicity in the network. Some of them we created our own. Some of them is created without us even being involved. Things like multiple devices in the network. Multiplicity effects. OK, so what do we have today? So we have 2G. Major, uh, the, this is the major or, or the, the underlying technology for voice. We have 3G, right? 4G is coming. Well, I have to adopt or I have to get into 4G, whether it's LTE or WiMAX or whatever, in order to increase my competitiveness. I need to get to the, to the game early. I need to train my staff, right? So multiple technologies, multiple bands. We all know what is the story about the bands in the United States. 700, 800, uh, PCS, AWS, uh, even 700, lower 700, upper 700, a lot of small carriers, 700 megahertz interoperability problem. Uh, uh, PCS, uh, do I need to reform a PCS to, uh, to put LTE in there or not? Uh, even 2.6 or 2.5, the EBS uh, BRS spectrum, it's a fragmented spectrum. Do I need to use TD LTE or FDD LTE or should I use both of these technologies? So this chart uh, you know, in front of you, it's, it's, it's a relation between the data revenue on y-axis and the data penetration on x-axis. So we locate all of our customers on this chart. The size of the bubble there, it indicates how much investment investment the operator has in mobile broadband and you will see if the operator there is close to the origin now it seems like they are not really started mobile broadband yet so to us this phase is a building phase so we have to help our customers on that phase to build their network what is a single network solution so we can talk about single RAN for example single RAN is the the equipment that will have again it's one platform and all of the technology Technologies are featured there, so you can have one base station serving all of the technologies. Uh, single, uh, uh, single core, you have the single core platform and, and, and whatever you need to have uh, GGSN or serving gateway or packet gateway, they are built on the same platform, platform and you can even share the pooled capacity between all of these entities. Uh, on top of that, you have to have single OSS. You have to have the management system that will have one GUI interface to deal with all of these things. We'll have one configuration file for everything. You'll have one uh, neighbor list for every technology. You will have one uh, uh, holistic uh, view of your whole network, no matter what technology is, and it will have to, it will, it will have to interface on the northbound with a lot of other uh, systems. So that will, will make you, you know, have one deployment, speed the deployment, less expertise needed, uh, uh, and also the network will be viable for a long uh, term. 